Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to guide you how you can set up Gboard on your Samsung or any Android phone. So without wasting any time, let's begin our video. So guys, if I go to any chat on WhatsApp just like this, as you can see, this is a Samsung keyboard. And if I want to change it to a Gboard, how I'm going to do it. So before that, I will go to the settings just to show you. Uh, you need to go to the settings and from there you need to select general management. So once you do so uh, All you need to do is to tap on keyboard list and default So once you tap on that one here is a default keyboard There is the Samsung keyboard and I cannot select the Gboard So how are you going to do it? All you need to do is to go to the Play Store on your uh, device once you go to the Play Store all you need to do is to search Gboard. Once you search Gboard uh, and here the Gboard, all you need to do is to tap on install and it will download and install on your uh, application. So we will wait for the installation first. So as you can see, Gboard has been installed on this device. So I will go back to the settings once again. And in the settings, as you can see now, Gboard is already added right at the bottom, as you can see. So how now to enable Gboard to be uh, the default keyboard? First, you need to do is to enable this one. So once you enable that one, all you need to do is to tap on the default keyboard. And here the window will pop up and from there you can select Gboard. So once you selected Gboard, now I will go back again to WhatsApp here and I will want to tap a message. And now, as you can see, the keyboard has changed to uh, the Google board, the Gboard. And you can see the difference here. The first one was look different and this one is totally different. So guys, this is how you can set up Gboard on your Android phone or any Samsung phone if you want. If you like the video, don't forget to subscribe. I will see you again in the next video. Till then, take care.